I'm a real Bob. Okay, so we just gonna jump right into the action, right into the sink. Clients, make sure you get a wash before you come to the barber shop. Or if you want to get it in the barber shop, make sure you come with the change and get a wash in the shop. Um, it's like an artist drawing on a clean piece of paper versus a dirty piece of paper. The outcome is better. Okay, um, where my man is, um, this is my client, Chris, um, very good guy. Um, he's getting a bald fade. And as you can see, Chris is thinning out on the top of his head. His hair is very, very light and it's very, um, brittle. What I mean by brittle is it's easy to cut. So you have to be very careful when you're cutting his hair. And, um, I specialize in people losing their hair or making something out of nothing and just working with what I have. Um, I'm doing a ball fade, like I said. Um, I'm starting the, the guideline. I'm making a line with the NV. I pulled the guard all the way in. Um, and um, I'm going to pull the guard right now all the way out just to start blending and um, debulking and cutting down the top. What I'm going to perform um, with this cut is a uh, tilt cutting. I call it tilt cutting where, um, as you can see, I'm holding the clipper in a tilted manner and I'm cutting the hair down. The reason why I'm doing this is because my client hair, Chris, has thin hair. So I don't want to flatten the clipper and run through it because that will show more of the bald areas so you have to tilt your clipper and be careful tilting is being careful with the clipper and it doesn't cut as much as it's supposed to cut when you're tilting it so now i'm just debulking those sides the sides are okay you know the sides are okay i could flatten the clipper and cut around and fade as much as i could possibly fade and um, when I get to the top, I'm going to tilt the clipper again. And you must use your comb. You must use your comb and comb it forward and tilt and um, pin point. I'm teaching tilting and pin pointing, pin pointing. As you can see, look, um, if I was to flatten the clipper on the top of his head where it is thinning, it will take off a lot of hair and he will not like the haircut. So what I'm doing is um, tilt, cutting, and pinpointing the areas that I want to cut. And I'm lightly cutting off. It's like air cutting. Air cutting, pin, point, tilt, cutting. That's just what I teach. It's something new and it's something different. You know, um, I'm an individual and I bring what I bring to the table. But if you're a client like Chris, you need to see me. If you want a natural cut and use whatever you have left instead of the enhancements, I could do that for you. And if you want to enhance it as well, I can do that as well. This cut on the top of his head is not enhanced. It's not enhanced. I repeat, it's not enhanced. I'm going to blend it out. There's many ways to blend, um, but when you blend them with the clipper, you have to tilt your clipper and you have to corner cut as well. These are the um, science and um, the details and the, you know, the little things that barbers are skipping nowadays because of enhancements. And I don't knock enhancements, but I don't praise them either. You know, we got to stick to the basics and learn the basics before we can enhance because um, enhancements is a part of the game and I like them. But um, now I'm kind of like brushing the hair down with the clipper because you want to go back and then you want to go forward. You know, um, this hair is very, very tricky. So you have to um, make sure you're um, laying the hair back down. You don't want to you want to keep a comb or brush in your hand at all times. 
you know um only the true masters could cut through the hair without any comb or a brush and they still don't do it because it's just not the right thing to do so as you can see now i'm corner cutting i'm corner cutting um i'm finding those little um dark areas there is a better way how to pinpoint cutting to do pinpoint cutting with um this kind of hair but right now we're just focused on the clipper i will show you another video of where i'm really blending out something and you're gonna just be amazed with no enhancements or nothing you know um so now i'm just chopping at these little dark spots right here and trying to just knock it down one by one this take patience though you know um to be a natural barber great at being a natural barber um without using enhancements because enhancements kind of speed up the game you know you won't have to blend out with enhancements you just spray it on or do what you got to do but this right here it takes a lot of um, patience and um knowing how to detail with your clippers or whatever you're using so we're just gonna blend it out and blend it out um and just um see where it goes as you can see i'm corner cutting again corner cutting you must learn how to use the corner of your clippers be it a t-liner be it a trimmer whatever you must learn to use the corner that's very very important to detailing and cutting so um now i'm just um fading um you know when you're fading you will know what to do if you got to pull the guard all the way back or if you got to pull it up because this hair is low it's not like we're doing a um, a fade where the, um, the top of the hair is a little higher than the, the this is uh, this is like a, a one with the grain so it's like a dark Caesar they call it and a bald um, bald on the sides so what we doing right now is we just blending and fading so you know um, we blending and fading I'm going to shave off the side of his head but it's not going to be seen um you know that's not important because i already made um the line a uh, soft line so when i cut off that um bulk area i'm not gonna need to um take any line out that's why i su always suggest that you make a soft line with a clipper or if you're going to use the t-liner um use it very lightly and fast and go all the way around quick as possible don't make the heart make the line too hard because it's gonna be hard to take it out so um right now i'm just blending it out and um blending and blending um um if you're a new barber a new up-and-coming barber and you're um cutting hair make sure you pay attention to the tools that you're using and how they're adjusted i will show you that in another video how to adjust your tools but um make sure you like comment and subscribe and share all my videos if you're a barber um and you want to learn a couple of things um from my perspective like i said i'm a little unorthodox i'm a little bit different everybody has their own way of doing things so um now um with um the top of his head being the main focus you always got to keep watching it and just because you never completely catch everything when you're cutting hair you're gonna miss something you know sometimes when i finish a haircut i'll take a picture of it and the camera will see something that i don't see it could be a one strand of hair and then you just go back and cut it so i'm just um what they call that spot checking and looking at different things that i could touch on in detail and stuff like that you know um this is a um not a simple haircut but it took me approximately like 20 minutes but the video was like 12. but um this client right here is a very good client and um when you have good clients make sure you treat them good don't try to rush to another client Make sure you take care of your good clients because they're going to take care of you. Those clients that you're rushing to are people that are probably popped up on you 
or they're not following you how you know and they're probably not even gonna pay you like the good client so make sure you keep your good clients happy all right um so like i said before i was gonna um skip the fading part um right now i'm fading with my um octane one of my favorite clippers i never used to advertise clippers because um clipper companies they don't do the right thing but it's all good you know it's a matter of time before we come up and make our own stuff so they can have their shine right now but um i'm cutting down the um taking all the bulk around the um the fade and making it bald you see me point at the top of the head because i'm still spot checking i'm still focused on certain points of the head that i see like those areas right there those little dark spots right there and you can't completely you know if you really blend out somebody's hair to perfection you know that takes a lot of patience so you're not going to completely get this type of hair but as you can see, I'm blending it out pretty nicely because this is something that I specialize in. Um, I think people, when they see me use enhancements, they think that um, I'm an enhancement barber. But no, I was one of the barbers when enhancements came out. I was telling barbers, yo, make sure you perfect the basics first. But, um, okay, Chris always get this part on the side of his head. And, um, you know, he wants it to be very, very um, sharp and detailed. Okay, I'm blowing the hair off. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, that's it. It's done. I'm a real Bob.